How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. And if you clicked on this video, that means you want to get better at Scythe, you dirty dog. I knew you wanted to get better at Scythe. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys some Scythe combos, some Scythe strings that I have learned in my 2500 hours of playing Brawlhalla. I have every single Scythe legend, black colors, over level 25. So, I know a little bit about how to play Scythe. Now, depending on your skill level, whether you're silver, gold, platinum, diamond, uh, it, it depends on your skill level whether these will work or not. <laughs> because once you get to diamond, people are going to be dodging the attacks a lot more than if you're in silver, for se. Alright, um, another thing, there's two ways to get better at sight. Alright, you're going to either practice in training or practice against real people. You need to do both. Let me say that again. You need to do both. If you don't practice in training ever, you're not going to get decent at doing just strings. It's really hard to do a string against a person that's moving, dodging, attacking all the time. If you can't even do it against a bot that's standing still, how are you going to do it against somebody that's moving all the time? Okay? So anyways, here's some basic combos that I think... Everybody should know with Scythe. I'm going to start with the easy stuff and we'll work our way up. Easiest thing that you can do with Scythe is neutral light, jump, neutral air. Okay? And you can follow it up a couple times. With a side air, neutral air, side air, neutral air. Okay? Very, very easy. Simple combo. Does a lot of damage, right? You can, you can do a side light chase dodge into that combo as well. A lot of people will dodge out of that. Like I said, it just depends. But if they don't, it's free damage. So you got to always assume they're not going to dodge. Or, you know, if they are going to dodge, you just want to be looking for the dodge and react accordingly. And by the way, any of these combos, feel free to mix up and match. The great thing about Scythe is you can mix and match combos to do so many cool things that there's really no limit well, there probably is a limit, but it's a high number of what you can do, okay? You always want to be looking to do gravity cancel attacks, if you can. So, like, did you see the difference there? Instead of a side air, I just did a gravity cancel neutral light. It's very easy to do. You can gravity cancel side light as well into recovery. These are basic combos, okay? Or strings, however you want to call them. I know strings are more of a technical term that's more accurate in this situation. A combo is supposed to be something that you can't dodge out of. And most of these things you can dodge out of, okay? So anyways, another basic combo, side light into jump down air, right? They can dodge out of that, so you just got to be careful. It depends on their uh, health, whether they can dodge or not. But it's a good combo starter. All right, let's try uh, let's try stringing together something here. Wait. All right, that was basically the same thing except after I did the two, I waited and then I followed up with the down air instead of continuing the string. And the reason I did that is because if you follow it up with a down air when they're close to the ground, you can do stuff like that. Let me rewind that a tiny bit. We can watch it in slow motion for you guys. Slow motion for you. And all right. So we did the neutral air. We jumped. And then here, instead of attacking right away, a lot of times they'll dodge. So just wait. See where they dodge. If they start going towards the weapon or something, follow it up with a down air. And then before you hit the ground, do your neutral air. Because if you hit the ground, you won't be able to grab them. You'll just hit a neutral light and that'll just hit them away further. Grab them here. Boom. Boom. Throw them away, and then you can follow it up with a down light very easily. A lot of times, if you're able to do that, throw them on the ground. They gotta be a little bit up. You can follow it up like that. It's so, 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 so good to do. If they don't have a lot of damage, though, they won't bounce high enough. So, it just depends on that. Now, let's try something. Let's try this. All right, you can also do like, oops, that wasn't what I was trying to do. All 
That nearly killed her. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. The best part about playing in training, guys, is the bot won't move. It makes it very easy to practice combos. Look at that. That nearly killed her. It basically did. Alright. I could have even continued that further if I wanted. So let, let, let me show you how that's done. And this depends on their health. It depends on a lot of things. Depends on whether they dodge or not. But side light. Held it. Neutral or down light. Neutral down light. And then jump side air. Chase dodge. Down air. And then here... You have a lot of options. You can uh, ground pound. You can wait and see what they try to do and, and read their attack. And that's what I did. A lot of times they're just going to jump back towards the stage. And you can just grab them, turn around, grab them, and then chase dodge side air. Boom. Um, instead of chase dodging, if that's a little bit like too hard for you, you could just jump in side air towards them. Because if you chase dodge and you side air and you don't hit, you're dead. But if you do hit, you'll get your jump and you dodge and it feels really cool if you hit if they're in a little bit higher health that would probably kill let's set her health to 30 and see if I can do it actually she was a little bit too high health see I can't chase dodge into the down air anymore so it really just depends on their health if they're in very low health you can chase dodge into the down air pretty easily. See, that time I couldn't chase dodge and I died. I did chase dodge, but I didn't get the hit. And that's why I died. All right. Like I said, it's really important that you're also trying to incorporate like gravity cancels. Like you could do two of those. You could do, oops. Oops. Get over there. You can do like that. Or a chase dodge ground pound probably would have been better. Oops. See what I mean? The ground pound nearly hit there if I probably would have held it. Boom. That was actually pretty good. Alright, I think I've shown you guys some pretty pretty decent combos. Now, one thing that you probably have noticed is I'm not really using any signature attacks. And that's just because I wanted to show you guys some scythe strings and combos that you can do with any scythe legend. Now, realistically, you should be throwing in some sigs every now and then uh, just to mix it up and add to your combo. So, you could go like... Most of these you can dodge out of, but again, it just depends. Another good combo that I like to use with Scythe a lot looks like this. Alright, let's uh, wind that back. You guys can see this one. I learned this combo by watching Noel. So, Noel, if you're watching, thank you for showing me this. This is a basic bread and butter Scythe combo. So, let's start it out with Side Light. I held it down to push them. Chase dodge, neutral light, jump, neutral air, popped them up, and then jump side air, and then here you want to gravity cancel down light. Boom. And kick them away, followed by a chase dodge down air, followed by a side air. Boom! For the killing blow. Now, obviously, they can dodge out of that depending on their health and whatnot and how fast you do the inputs. Did it on the other side. Boom! Feels great. Alright, I've shown you guys a few scythe strings and combos. Now, like I said, it, it's equally important to practice in training as it is to practice against real people. So, let's go ahead and jump into a 1v1. Alright, let's see if I can do anything that I learned in training in an actual game. Sometimes you're going to miss a lot with scythe. And you just need to calm down and focus. Focus. Try to read your opponent. Oops, I should have let him get the weapon. Yeah. 
Try not to get in the habit of throwing your weapon for combos. It's really not a good idea because especially when there's no- <laughs> I need rage quit dude, oh my goodness. Especially when there's no other weapon on the, uh, on the stage. My man Core doesn't want to let me get a weapon. I just want the scythe, and that's totally fine. He can do that. He doesn't know I'm just trying to show you guys. Obviously. I'm going to finish him off with a, uh, boom. The best scythe kill move for a light attack is probably side air or down air. Side air, probably the best. Kill him with the SIG, and then we'll damage him up with the uh, light attacks. That was it. I basically did a combo that I showed you guys, and it worked. Didn't quite get the ground pound off that I was going for, but it was still pretty good. Alright guys, well, I think I've shown you enough of Scythe. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you did, and let's help each other out. And if you know any cool Scythe combos or strings, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like the video if you did, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy guys.